Hey guys, Jeremy here. Uh, thanks for joining. What I wanted to do is give you an update on my hair algae situation. Um, I had a hair algae bloom. It was a couple of months into this tank uh, being established. You can see it certainly all over the glass, but also on some of these plants. I'm going to zoom a bit more. There you go. Hair algae. And it's just all over this stuff. But what I really wanted to show you is this. Let's see if I can focus on this guy. Maybe more importantly on his mouth. Because I'm trying to give you a... Well, let's see. Maybe this will work better. A detail of this ram's horn snail. Uh, I think they're called Indica planorbit. Uh, or something. Anyway, standard ram's horn snail, but look at how that mouth is operating. This is how they eat. And I thought that was interesting enough to share. So, these being snails, they're gastropods, which means foot mouth. But you can see there's definitely a separate foot and uh, the other part of its body, which includes the uh, mouth bits. But that's just uh, pretty interesting, and it's effective. Look at, look at how well it's grabbing that stuff, kind of moving its mouth side to side as it slides forward, and it is not getting all of it, but it's getting a good bit of it. So I think I'm gonna get another handful. I've already dropped two, maybe even three handfuls of uh, these guys down into this tank, but it's just uh, kind of a slow process. I'm going to have to set up uh, carbon dioxide for this tank as well. Actually, what I'm going to have to do is allow it to share CO2 with that tank and that tank, which isn't happening right now, but I need to do some plumbing, set up a little bit of a valve tree and such, and get that going. But I did think it was pretty cool to uh, catch a glimpse of this guy doing his thing. So yeah, ram's horn snails. There are quite a few in this tank right now. I've got them in three or four others. And uh, at first I thought I was going to leave this tank snail free, and then I decided... They, they might be a kind of critical part of the cleanup crew. So temporarily, I've, I've set up a hang-on back filter. That's just to kind of help clear the water column of algae when I scrape and such. And it, it'll eventually get replaced with something else. I'm not sure. I'll, I'm hoping I don't have to drill this tank and use some of the space, like, down there for sump area. But, uh... It's doing its thing. Algae's kind of uh, coming under control, but it's not there yet. So thanks for watching. Hope you had a good day.